Well, I didn't miss that. make that transition very good. Hey there, Juma fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Juma fan, too. Thanks for tuning in to Watch Me Work Livestream number 100 and I forget what the number is. Is it 156? I don't know. It's on the thumbnail. Anyways, thanks for tuning in today uh, to the Basic Juma Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also maintain Joomla sites and uh, work on Joomla sites. So if you're looking to hire someone short term or long term, or just to catch you out of a bind, drop me an email, tim at cybersalt.com. And let's talk. Today's video is brought to you by mysites.guru. Head on over to mysites.guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site. And while you're there, you'll see lots of tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA and you'll get the first month free. All right, so today's topic is Migrate Me 4. Uh, we have looked in the past at Stage It, an extension that creates a staging copy of your Joomla site to work on. I've actually been using it a lot in my business now just to uh, fire up a, a copy of the site uh, that I'm working on to test some things. Uh, it's really super handy, and then of course you're not wrecking the live site. Uh, but uh, this tool today that we're going to look at, Migrate Me 4, is, um, well, we've just gone, oh yeah, okay, sorry, I just saw something go blank on my screen there. Um, sorry, but just watching, uh, watching the quality of the stream here, um, something went blank. Anyways, so today's, uh, we're going to look at Migrate Me 4, and it's this tool to migrate from Joomla 3 to 4. We're going to put it through its paces, and... Uh, uh, see uh, how it works and uh, how it can be a tool to help you with your migration. All right, so let's turn our attention to the screen here. Computers chat on right. No, that's right here. Yeah, there we are. Let me change my glasses. Let's see who is in chat here to say hi to everyone. Ivor is there. Bjorn is already there. Uh, Mary, are you watching today? I wonder if Mary is on here because Mary has uh, Starlink. Is it Starlink? Um, Elon Musk's uh, internet and uh, satellite internet. So I think, uh, yeah, she is. So uh, Mary, tell us about your experience with your new internet connection. Is it is it wonderful to have faster speed? Um, okay. Now, so here we are at um, Migrate Me 4. And, <coughs> excuse me, we'll just take a look at the page just a little bit. Oh, Mary says she can actually see a screen. That's great. Uh, so, um, it's, uh, he just, uh, Barnaby Dixon of PHP Web Design des, uh, describes it as the fastest, best, latest version of Joomla right away with zero downtime, zero stress, zero headaches, and ultimate foolproof, fully support upgrade method for Joomla 4. It allows you to migrate from Joomla 3 to 4 in seconds. You can upgrade directly to Joomla 4 with just a single click. And it's an all-in-one solution that will install fresh version of Joomla 4, migrate all your extensions, documents, article settings, user passwords, everything, and give you a temporary development space to test the upgrade without any risk to your live site. So this is going to be really nice uh, because if you had a uh, Joomla 3 site and you said, okay, I, I'm going to test it to see if I can upgrade to 4 and you do the upgrade, it doesn't work, then you have to restore your, your 3 site. Uh, this one is just going to do it all, all quick for us. So... All right, uh, once you're happy with the new system, you've checked for any issues, you can make the migrated environment live. Upgrade will completely update your file system database, the latest versions of Joomla. Your images, articles, data, and files will be perfectly maintained, and your Google rank will be completely unaffected. All right, part of the upgrade, Migrate Me Plus 4 will take a full backup of your database and file system. You can, you can test out the new version of Joomla, and if you decide you don't want it, you can simply roll back your system to the old configuration. Cool. Well, let's get going on this and we will install it and see. Now, um, one little problem that I've got here is I, did, I closed the folder that had this for me to install it. So that's, um, ah, there we go. I'm going to open the file location. Oh, okay, basic Joomla 4. I did have it in there. Great. All right. So. Why don't we, first of all, do something that will be super easy. We're going to go to J3, uh, just a core install that I have. All right. And we will log in there. I just have to bring some things up here. Everybody uh, comment 
in the video below or in live stream if you want to, me to interview Mary on the channel as to hear her Joomla story and hear more about her business now that she has a good internet connection. So I already hinted that she should, uh, that we'll be able to do some videos together. But uh, if you think that would be good, let me know. Um, I'd be happy to interview some of you, uh, any of you as well, too, about your businesses or your Joomla story. So if you're interested in that, you could uh, always shoot me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and uh, we'll arrange that. All right, so we're going to go extensions, manage, and install. And over on my other screen, you will see here, I have already downloaded from, um, uh, I've already downloaded com migrate me for all right now this is a paid extension so um, that's where you get to get a good preview of it here so I'm just going to drag that from the uh, my other window here drop it in there and install it great go components and now we have migrate me for all right I revolts to interview Mary and so, all right so now we just says upgrade to Juma 4.1 if you want to see exactly how it works, click here to read the help file. I think it's probably just going to... Oh, look at that. Here's a lovely PDF going to come up and see how it works. Wow. Good documentation. Um, all right. Let's click this. Upgrade Joomla. Upgrade to Joomla 4.1.3. All right. So, building a map of your migration environment, preparing your migration, building a map of your live, building a map of your file system. Oh, wow, well, okay. Um, we'll let this chug along. You know, so uh, uh, here at Cybersalt World Headquarters on Sunday, it was raining. That was July the 3rd. We got as much rain on Sunday in that one day as we usually get all the month of July which you know it's not a flooding situation or anything like that because July is usually a pretty dry month in fact we've had July's where there was no rain but anyways yes 4.1.5 is out so it probably just hasn't updated to that but uh, uh, updated extension here and also um, yeah it should be easy to just go do the final step there all right well uh, congratulations, your full Joomla site is now ready to use. The upgrade is in a new directory called MM4. Please carefully check your new system and especially check that all extensions, including your template, are compatible with your new version of Joomla. It's usually worth upgrading each component to the latest version before you go live. All right. Bjorn would like to hear from Mary. All right. Uh, show the log file. Okay, well, let's see the log file here. Uh, okay, here's everything that's done. Optimizing all the tables. Cool. Yeah, and updating the database version. Okay. All right. Now let's log into the admin. Now, when we mouse over, uh, if you look you, uh, very small in the bottom left hand of the link of, of the site or this browser window, you can see. It's j3core.basicjuma.com forward slash mm4. So there's a copy of our site in a full subfolder called mm4. Um, okay, and let's see here. Call to undefined method, Joomla CMS. So right there, something's not working. And so let's go back to our Joomla 3 site. Let's see where that is. This is it here. Extensions, manage, and let's go update and check. This one is, uh, I don't have a license for that one to update. I think we've got the latest Joomla here. All right, so we will check here. Uh, call to undefined method. So let's just check this out here. Before, uh, see if that's an error that's known. Okay, I'm installed Joomla 4. Da, 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 da. Okay, so. And, uh, method Joomla da, 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 da. log in again. Oh, you think so? Okay. Uh, well, here, let's just check the version 4 here. All right. 
okay we need to log out and then we'll log in where can we log out here i know what i'm going to do i'm going to copy that let's go to a new private window where i'm not logged in no it still sees me in there okay hmm Go to administrator. Yeah, no, that's not helping us. All right, so we'll just see what's happening here. Uh, let's read a bit more about that there. Da, da, da. I think it's because of the template. Uh, da, 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 da. I wonder if this is trying to do the old template. Huh, okay. Well, why don't we just do this? I'm going to go to the C panel for this account. Uh, screen. And Here we are there. Now we just have to go to Juma for update and system global configuration. And I want to see what the database is here. Juma 484. All right, then we're going to go into here. BHP Mindman, Joomla 484. There it is there. Now we've got JOSJI, and I think we're going to get into MM4, a new table here. So all the tables have been split. And um, we want to go to find Protostar, P R O T. I want to find templates. Search, sorry, uh, protostar, protostar, select all, and go. Now there's the extensions there, extensions there. No, it's not in there. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to go back to Migrate Me 4. And. Da, 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 da. Let's just check out the full user guide here. Log into your new system. Uh, check your data. The, the general all extensions are reinstalled and updated, even if you have the latest version of Juma 3. This. Okay. Well, this is a very plain uh, Juma 4. Let's go to Juma update. Let's just see. Upload. I'm going to check again here. Let's reinstall the core files. And let's also go extensions, manage, and database. 
I'm going to take this URL here off of the end that does the database. I'm going to go copy. And I'm going to go into the here. And I'm going to see if this works. Two slashes there. No, definitely something going on here with this this here. Let's read this form a bit more. Let's see what this is here. If you did in the pre as we read down here oh good idea air log the maximum that's a good idea. Let's try that. Um, let's go back to our web hosting control panel right here. Let's go to file manager. Yeah, because we have a uh, file manager, file manager, and we'll go to J3 core. We're going to go into MM4 configuration edit configuration file we're going to go to the I know I know I'm showing password here but I'll reinstall it uh, let's go to the um, error oh error reporting is on maximum oh that's left over for me uh, that's left over for me testing out uh, that um, uh, my uh, doing my maintenance Monday in the last two weeks so that is on I wonder, let's just go, I'm going to go to Joomla update, go to options. I want to get Joomla next and save and close. And let's see if it finds anything here. Maybe I've got something in there. Oh, look at this. I've got, well, I've got Joom RSS. I've got stage it package in there that doesn't have any, um, offer convert, um, version but I'm not sure if it would do that all right so da, da, da. Da, 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 da. all right well we're kind of uh, euchred here for um, ba, 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 ba. components migrate before now we have this option we already have that there let's just give this let's try this one more time we'll see what happens wonder if it's going to put it in a, a, a second time which we can see I think would go back here mm4 here's all the files um, you know interestingly there is no uh, configuration.php file in that one Uh, stuff is happening in here though. So, oh, there it is. It's rebuilding. Good. Watch things going there. Let's double check. Um, uh, if. Uh, oh, no. Akiba, da, da. 
If you have a white screen or can't access the admin, please click here to access the extensions manager directly and reinstall Akiba and any other incompatible extensions. Oh, okay, let's check that out. No, we're kind of stuck there. And of course, this is the front. Um, just not working. All right. I don't even think that we have, uh, let's see here, uh, components, we didn't have anything really on there. I've got, uh, let's go extensions manage and I don't think it's going to be this, but let's go Joom RSS and we'll find uh, Joom RSS, there's a component. I'm going to uninstall that. Yes, watch me work in the flesh. Yes, two weeks in a row. Hey, you know last week when we were looking at JAM events and we couldn't find any of the menus, I did uh, uh, did share that video with them. And um, there was actually a module you could go in and turn on the menu and it would create them, which I said, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really see how, I don't know of many extensions where you have to actually create the menu links to connect, but uh, had I read their documentation, I would have seen that was a step I needed to take. Um, yeah, I wanted to just see if uh, the whole package would remove everything, but here we go. That's... Um, Let's remove everything, uninstall here. All the Joom RSS stuff, so we'll go components, so we'll go migrate me four, and we'll do this again. All right. Yeah, you know, I, I've, there have been times where I've gone and selected everything to uninstall an extension, and then I get a bunch of error messages saying, couldn't find a package because uninstalling the component or one of the other things did remove everything so that's why i tried that first all right let's just close this here 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 and here read up a little bit more of this Mm -hmm. What else has been happening around here? Can't see this, but I sprained my ankle. If I don't sit properly at my desk, sometimes I get sitting for a long time, curl my leg underneath and have the top of my foot resting on the floor. And I end up with uh, with an ankle brace that I have and actually getting around the house a little bit with the assistance of a cane at time. All right, so... Let's try this without that. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, there you go. That's what it was, Joom RSS. Okay, good. Uh, isn't that interesting? There was so, there was some uh, must have been something in there that was just blocking things. All right, good. Um, this is a test install of Joomla 4.1.3. All your data settings, image, and other information have been migrated from your live site. Go to extensions manage. Uh, check your extensions are compatible with Joomla 4.1.3. Sure. Install the latest version of each extension, plug in or template where necessary. Check that everything is working well, both front and admin. Once you're happy, use the go live button below. All right. Uh, once you're sure your system's working correctly, you can automatically publish the new Joomla 4.1.3 system. All right, well, this out of curiosity, let's go here. 4.1.5 is available. I don't want to update that right now because I don't want to mess things up. But we go back to components, migrate me four. Cool. We can go to system. 
and we can go to extensions uh, manage no we want to update there we go installer from web is the only update that is available okay now again we're just working with a very basic one I'm going to move on to one of my other sites after this and we will see um, Joomla let's see here receive notifications for all all updates okay Let's go options. I'm still on Joomla next, so we'll go to default there. All right, so and we could go start update to this. Let's preview the site. Yeah, just blank. All right, so that worked. Now, uh, I don't want to update this, so let's go back to components and migrate me for and um, okay so uh, what do we do if we don't want this okay go live process take a okay to go the go live process will take a full backup of your old system put it in the backup folder if it hits any problems it'll be recorded in the log text file Okay, so that's configuration for migrate me for migration speed. Okay, uh, acceleration, yes, run optimization, generally enable backup, use safe mode. What's safe mode? Safe mode will disable all third party plugins on the migrated Joomla 4 system. This will help you have if you have severe compatibility issues with outdated extensions. By allowing your Joomla 4 admin to load correctly. Ah, there's maybe something that we should have done. Okay. We didn't even I didn't even think to look at the configuration. Well, let's try this. Ah, okay, well, so let's experiment. Um there's J3. Let's go back to the Joomla 3 version here. And I'm going to go extensions manage and install. And then I'm going to upload a package file. I'm going to browse to where I have a bunch of um, Joomla 3 stuff here. Um, OB, uh, Joom RSS was what was doing that to us. All right, okay. Joom RSS. Oh, I feel bad if this is my fault from not uh, reading let's see let's go rss where is that on my computer i know joom rss there we go open a file location oh it's in joom boost okay that's the company that took that over joom boost there we go let's install that now we can double check and see if that's exactly what was causing the problems by going to migrate me for and we'll upgrade to that okay excellent 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 so um uh tech wise here at uh here at my home office here, we have a new alarm system with a company here in Canada, TELUS. And actually, I had a I had an alarm system with a company here locally that TELUS bought. And it had a, a camera that monitored the front, but it was really, I mean, it was really, it captured a lot of video and uploaded it. I had a thousand clips I could upload a month. And then, um, but this new camera, I had to go out and calibrate it, take pictures of myself in front of it. Uh, so, and uh, it will, it tells me if there's an animal, a car, or, or a person in the yard. And it seems to be capturing a lot less video, which is really cool. It's nice to have that AI working there. Uh, is debug one working in Joomla 4? I don't know, let's try it. So we're gonna log into the admin here again ah all right so now let's do this was joom rss 
So let's go back to com uh, configuration and migrate me four up here. <clears throat> this is a oh, bad token try again. Okay. There we go. Configuration. And now we're going to use safe mode. All right. Safe configuration. Ah, I like this. So we will go down to migrate me four and we're going to upgrade to Joomla 4.13 to do it again. Is the uh, dollar sign debug working Joomla 4? Where would I put that, um, Ivor? Is that like a code inside? Is that be inside? I, do I put that in the URL or? Okay, well, that seemed to be pretty fast. Let's see here. Ah, safe mode. I like it. You see that? I, we did that in safe mode and it updated very quickly. Cool. And it, we were able to log in right away. Okay. That means if we go to migrate, uh, let's click here to go live. Um, let's go to uh, system, Joomla, um, I'm not sure all the extensions are updated here. Let's just see here. That can't be totally right. Okay, installer from web and Joom RSS. Look at this, I got installed 1.1.10 and it's available as 4.1.1. That doesn't make sense. Unless they've done a big huge jump in things interesting uh components joom rss okay so that should break we kind of expect that so we're going to go system and we're going to go to the joomla update oh debug equals one in configuration uh, we could check and see that. Um, but here, I want to... set that there. Um, we're, I thought that there's a way that in uh, Joomla update that I could test preview I'm prepared okay let's uh, let's start the update I think it's going to test all the extensions right oh I guess I better check that all right I'm going to check that made a backup of everything oh no it did it see I wanted to see if it was doing a pre-check for all my extensions. Hmm. I thought that was the thing. I thought that that was a thing that before uh, updating Joomla 4, you could, it would check through all your extensions and make through they're compatible. But maybe that's just on Juma 3. All right, well. Okay, so now if, uh, let's just see, if I want to not do the migration, uh, okay, just on Juma 3, okay. And uh, Ivory, you said that uh, debug equals one Okay, pre-check. I thought maybe pre-check was on in Joomla 4, so, okay. Uh, Iber says debug equals one working in Joomla 4. We can check that out right now. Do, 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 do. Uh, Joomla 4, let's see, MM4, and we've got configuration file open, debug equals one, I guess it must. 
let's go to preview this one here. Yes, and down at the bottom we have debug. JInfo request session profile queries. Uh, yes, so that is working. All right, so let's turn that off. Now my one question here is this. If we don't want to update, um, let's click here to see the full user's guide. All right. Let's see, let's go table of contents here. File system backup, removal of the old system, copy your new Joomla file system live folder, copy of your new Joomla database tables, final processes, go live is complete. All right. Uh, I don't see anywhere for removing it. If it's like, no, that's not working. Now, uh, that said, all we have to do is this. We could go to uh, our file manager. There's J3 core basic Joomla. There's MM4. We could delete this, yes. And then we could also go into the database here <clears throat> and we could find all the tables that have MM4 at the beginning. So we could go MM4 and just make sure that they are all start because if you had MM4 for some reason in another table in your original install, it wouldn't work there. Um, but we'll just go like that and uh, what will we do? All, all those are checked. We're going to drop those. Yes. And we've uh, removed that those extra things off the server. Okay, so, all right. Well, why don't we try this on another Joomla 3 site? Um, and to do that, I'm going to close this and this and this. I'll leave that open for now. Why don't we go to this one here? What site shall we try? AGCRSI.org. All right, so this is the web page for um, the um, refugee sponsorship work that my wife and I are involved in. And this is a Google, <coughs> excuse me, this is, um, sorry, this is a rocket themed template. I think we also have Asteroid on in here. Um, but, all right, so let's go extensions, manage, and install. Over here we have com migrate. So we're going to go upload package file, com migrate. This time, migrate me for. This time I'm going to go and do safe mode and I'm going to go save and configure. Oh, save configuration. And now let's start the update. All right, while we're figuring this out, I'm figuring it out. I know we're all figuring it out together. Uh, um, yeah, so I mentioned the new alarm system here. Uh, uh, they also, I got a bundle. They gave me a bundled package, internet, TV, and uh, security. And it actually is going to save me 50 bucks a month getting rid of the other separate security account that I had. So I don't even need the cable TV, but it came with the package. They also offered me uh, this TELUS product that's uh, s some online security thing with Norton. And I told them I'm not using that. I've seen that slow down too many computers, but... All right, uh, let me just close some of these other things here. Anyway, so I've got all this stuff. Barely, I think we used the cable TV for watching the news last night. And uh, it's got a PVR. So actually when Survivor is on or um, <clears throat> um, what's that other one that uh, my wife and I like to watch? Uh, Amazing Race. That will be easier to watch than watch online. But All right, so... Let's log into the admin for there we go. Now let's preview what the site looks like. All right, so failed to load RT Requiem template. Please
please install Gantry 5 framework. Okay. So if we were if Gantry 5, is Gantry 5 available for Joomla 4? I think it probably is. Interesting though. So hey, why don't we just, uh, so let's just try this. Gantry, whoops, the daisy. Gantry 5 Joomla 4. Download Gantry 5. Oh, okay, release the uh, 5 point. Okay. Yes, it is. All right. So we could go to uh, Gantry 5 plugin, Helium theme, Helium. All right. So change. Okay. What do we want? That? What are we doing here? Gantry 5. Uh, oh, Joomla 3 and 4. Okay. This is what we want. Uh, Joomla package Gantry 5. All right. So let's download that to uh, we'll just go put this in delete for now save great and so now we're gonna go now here here we are this is nice we've got a nice testing environment for uh, our Joomla 4 site and it's it's actually it's like a staging site I suppose if we can get everything working on here then we're laughing for just going live so that's kind of cool let's go to here and let's go to uh extensions and install there we go system install extensions now we're going to upload this upload the gantry 5 one all right now let's go here and refresh. Well, look at that. There we go. Uh, I think this looks a bit different. Let's just see here. Not, not much different. Hey, okay. Oh, welcome. And then here. Oh, well, this is, yeah, okay, I wonder. All right, well, still, though. Uh, interesting. I wonder why that's different. I know this was, uh, I don't know if my wife changed this or not, but all right, well, that's okay. What else have we got happening back here? We have... Uh, Let's check out some content and pull submission. Yeah, content is working. I think that's pretty much what we have on here. Do we have a contact form? Yes, I think that's Tassos there. Uh, maybe what we should do though is go to system. Let's go look at the old site here. Let's go extensions and templates. Go log in there. Oh, only rocket theme templates on here. All right. I just don't know why the uh, home page is so different on this site. Now, although, oh, you know what? I know why, because all the extensions are in safe mode. Right. Right. Although why this is showing, uh, I don't know. You would think Joomla 3 would show the same. All right, well, let's continue to look around back in here. So let's go components, JSite Map Pro. Okay, I've got to log back into that. That makes sense. Component package doesn't uh, match your Joomla version. It's not fully compatible. This package for Joomla is currently installed, but you're running Joomla 4. Upgrade down. Uh, so upgrade the component visitors. Okay, so this one, we know we have to install the latest one. Great. ACY mailing five. Let's go to uh, what? Uh, let's see uh, newsletters. So that probably was updated on the last one and compatible. All right. Akiba Backup is going to say, no, look at this. All right. So please upgrade to Akiba Backup 9. You're currently using Akiba Backup 8. 
This version is only meant for you to upgrade from Joomla 3 to 4. All right, so then we've seen that before. Uh, oh, Liam, it says, looks like the module assignments on the homepage aren't quite right on J4. Possibly. The weird thing for me is that here it says welcome, and here we have welcome, but the slideshow is showing up. Um, it, uh, yeah, it's interesting. I don't, uh, it could be how this is assigned. I don't know. I'd have to check with my wife too, cause she's the one that works on this site. All right, cool. So Akiba, yeah. Banners, that's going to be fine. Com web links. That probably needs to, okay. Error has occurred tab state not found now we did see in going to update let's see com web links the system uh update extensions check for updates do 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 we're checking 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 We're waiting. Something's going to happen. Do, 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 do. We will see. All right. So installer from web. Web links extension package. Uh, I think this is what we need to update. Uh, and look, other things that we could up. Oh, look at this. Okay. Well, this would be great. All right. So right away we see there's some things that we could update. Uh, yeah. All right. So we go components, Folka download. All right. I'm just going to do the web com web links extension package for now. I'm going to update that. All right. We'll go components. Oh, there we go. And then web link shows up properly down here. And here we are. Nice. All right. So those com web links, contacts, convert forms would already be updated. Oh, convert forms component requires system no ring plugin to be enabled in order to function properly. And convert forms. Now, putting it in safe mode, everything was disabled. Oh, uh, yes. All right. Hey, I just got me thinking here. If I go to another page on the MM4 site. No, okay. I thought maybe uh, a regular labs plugin was not working. It was turned off. Okay, so. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, I can close this, I can close that. So Nova Rain Framework Plugin, so, and Convert Forms Plugin. So let's do those two here. System. Yeah, System. Extensions. Manage Extensions. So that's what would be Nova Rain. There we go. So we'll enable that. And uh, system uh, or convert forms, convert forms. Let's put that there. Convert forms system plugin needs to be turned on. All right. Uh, components, convert forms, open a new tab. System convert forms plugin. Uh, let's uh, filter the options. Let's show type. Uh, oh, plugin, yeah. System convert forms. The, the, the location, site, 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 site. Oh, there's two pages here. Let's see. System convert forms. There we go. All right. So now if we go here and refresh, convert forms works. Now, probably what we could have done before migrating would be to do this. Now I'm going to go back to the Joomla 3 site. 
I'm going to go to components, Joomla update. All right, we'll go back into there. I'm going to go options, Joomla next, save and close. That's going to do the pre-update check. This would probably let us uh, activate, uh, do more updating ahead of time to see what was needed. So for instance, we could see Jot Cache should be removed, uh, SH404 SCF, that's not working uh, for Joomla 4, although uh, Unique has, I think, a beta out of SEF or 4 SEF, so that's good. Uh, System Rock Extender, maybe something could be updated. Uh, regular Labs, better preview, that's not working yet. AC Wheel Mail, you know, so there's some things in here that we could. Uh, JD Builder Package is in here, but we never finished working on that template, so that could be removed. So probably a good step is to do the pre-check in Joomla 3 and get rid of what you don't need, all right? Uh, here's some that have updates. So for instance, we saw Foca download, there's updates available. Yeah, okay. And then we've got these that require no updates and we're not having any problems with them. So probably should have done that first. Okay, so uh, just to save us a bit here. Now we'll go back here. I'm gonna have to log in again because I logged into the other site. All right, and Let's see, J Sitemap Pro. All right, so we've been working our way down. So here we did convert forms, engage box. Okay, all right, component requires system. So again, we could go and uh, enable all these plugins one at a time. Great. Um, just going through and checking everything. Oh, and Ivor has an explanation for the fatal error after upgrading. Okay, cool. Let's just check that out. Um, okay. Okay, so yes, yeah, so it's extensions. And obviously the Joom RSS extension probably was calling something in the admin area as well. as admin area as well as the front end okay yeah so non-compliant extension okay so we could just work our way down through here and um, um, just work our way through and check see what's compatible what's not working JC editor pro that's that's there uh, if we go to content and add a con that is jce all right so notice there is no editor here because jce has been uh, disabled okay now the nice thing is is that uh, i suppose too then you could you could do all of the updating in joomla 3 removing things you don't need things that aren't compatible then you could actually do a staging copy without going into safe mode and see what happens. Maybe we should try that next on the same site here. All right, so uh, let's go back here. All right, so we need to turn on the editor for that. Okay, good. Uh, components, JCE editor, JD builder. I don't think there is anything here. I don't think it's Joomla 4 compatible. Yeah. Uh, jot cache should be gone. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we know that. All right, but the beauty of all of this is that we are safe because we still have our other site in place. Foca download. Um, we can check for updates and see if there's a later one. Of course, we know there is because it told us that. Uh, oh, 4.0 beta for Foca. Um, Foca, what are we checking here? Oh, Foca download. All right. Whoops. All right. Well, a good, okay. That's a good tool for going through. So what we probably should have done first. All right. So let's close all these windows here. Well, why don't we just for fun, 
go back to components and migrate me for well, I'm gonna have to log in again all right and now I'm going to go to configuration and not use safe mode all right now let's see what happens you know the beauty is this is so easy for making the copy and trying things I like that all right this is kind of going along fast so I got another site I want to try this on all right so here we go log into admin Ah, uh, this time, all right, so your installed version of Better PV is not compatible. Installed version of Advanced Modules, so we got a lot of things here showing us. Now, this would actually be good, too. Um, Tooltips is not compatible. Tooltips plugins being disabled. Oh, okay. Oh, it's, oh, this is disabling some things. Better Trash plugin. Okay, it disabled a bunch of things that it knows they're not compatible. But uh, if we go to administrator, we're still going to have that error uh, up here. Use of undefined constant JDB. Uh, that's JD Builder assumed. We'll throw. Okay. So uh, again, at least this error would let us know that we could go back and do this. Watch. It's just, uh, you know, and we're just playing rough and uh, rough with this. Uh, uh, components, JD Builder pages. Uh, I don't have JD Builder, any JD Builder pages. So I'm going to go extensions, manage and manage. And then we're going to look for JD Builder. And uh, let's see, Builder. There's JD Builder. Okay, so I'm going to uninstall those. All right, I'm going to close that window there. We'll go to components and we'll go to migrate me for and we'll do another update. See if that gets us into something that we can use. Um, now that's pretty cool because those plug uh, so Joomla 4 automatically disabled plugins that weren't compatible. Probably had a record of them. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, JDB Joomla version. JDB is still in there. Oh, oh MF4 plugin system JD Builder, JD Builder PHP. Is that because we didn't? Yeah, who knows? Extensions, plugins. Let's just go JD, see what there's something got left over. Oh, look at that. JD preview links, JD admin bar. Oh, then maybe I got that wrong. Maybe this is JDB Joomla admin bar. Let me uninstall that. Uh, extensions manage, manage, JD, uninstall. Yeah, we're just, and again, just playing around here so that we can see sort of i mean this is sort of letting us know what's going on inside our joomla sites i do have that jd admin bar which works when you're logged into the front end um that's um better preview is j4 compatible with the new install okay that is a good that's good better preview is one of my favorite ones because it it's a better way of previewing pages. Okay, so we've done another one. Let's go in and see here. Oh, that's all right. Still in there. Is that just because that is showing? Oh, and since System JD Builder. All right. Well, let's. Oh, I think I probably. Let's see. I think I. Did I? Okay, that's the C panel for that. All right. I could. All right. Well, just for fun. Uh, I could go to, whoops, look at all these windows I have. This is the one I want here. I could go to AGC RSI's web hosting account. I could go to the file manager, 
public HTML. All right, so I'm going to go up here, public MM4 plugin system JD builder. And what I'm doing here, uh, MM4 plugins. Here's JD build. Uh, uh, let's see. Plugins system JD builder. Sorry for all this flashing here. System. JD Builder. Yeah, see, JD Builder is not in here anymore, even though we've uninstalled it. So, plug, um, I think what's happening is, huh. Let's preview the front page here too. Yeah, error 500. That's probably because we don't have the new gantry in the back here either. All right. All right. So I wonder if this is caching that it's in there because obviously uh, public HTML MM4 plugin system JD builder does not exist in here. Because there is plugins system J yeah interesting it's been it, it's still being seen here in the staging version um, so let's do our experiment here uh, first of all we go to um, public HTML. Was I in MM4? MM4 plugins. Do, do, do. Plugins system. JD Builder's not there. So let's go here. Let's go to MM4 and delete. We'll delete all those files, the, the staging site. We're going to go back to here. We're going to go to the database. We're going to go, I think there's just one database here, JOS1, yeah. And we're going to search for MM4 tables. There they are. We're going to uh, drop those. Oh. Probably should select them all. And then drop them. Yes. All right, which means, well, if we go back. Yeah, I think so, Iver. Iver says uh, in the DB, in the database. So let's go back. This is going to be broken because there's nothing there now. Oops, can't find that page. Interesting. I just removed that whole install, but it, and I'm still getting, oh, this is the error page that's being served up probably for the parent site. All right, let's close that. Let's go to components, migrate me four. There we go. And we'll recreate that and then we'll see what happens. As usual, doing a little bit of a quirky investigation here, trying different things will come up with the best plan. Uh, and, and maybe uh, there's, there may be documentation just get going step by step, but you know. Okay, so, well, we got rid of that one error, but then we still have class J dispatcher not found. And we, uh, let's just see, a uh, copy. Let's just try that. Uh huh. Uh huh. What is this person saying? Okay. So something in here is not obviously not working here. 
And that's where we could try um, error reporting. All right, let's go file manager. Now I'm going to change that on this. I'm going to set the uh, error reporting to maximum, but I'm going to do it on another screen here because I don't want to have to reset the password for this database. Error reporting is, oh, error reporting is, oh, it's set to maximum. Interesting. Let's go to public HTML configuration, edit. Oh, okay. So migrate me for automatically turns error reporting to maximum in Joomla four. Okay. Good. Good to know. All right this so obviously there's something that needs to be updated here that uh, needs that all right so let's go to but we did get rid of the JD4 error by deleting the database so obviously something is probably oh uh, oh we un oh of course of course I uninstalled it in the live site which would not uninstall it from the other table in the migrate me for instance but with that uh, maybe it just didn't get uh, updated uh, Bjorn says if you mark a word or sentence to search just right click and search in Google no need to copy it oh ah, psh, of course ah, cool all right good tip right click so, oh man Wow that's uh, obviously I don't read on everything in a right click. Nice. All right. So this is our Joom three thing here. Uh, and again, a lot of this is saved by going to safe safety. Uh, if we go components and Joomla update, I think uh, go through the pre checker. Um, there's some things that we can be updating here, some things to get rid of that need to be turned off. Um, yeah, extensions, manage and update. All right. Well, find updates. And we will see if what there is to update on this site anyways. You know, so the big plus of Migrate Me For and Stage It is that uh, you just uh, don't have to worry about wrecking your live site. Slideshow CK, I haven't updated. I don't have a license for that uh, uh, to update. And J Site Map Professional, I need to renew my license for that. Okay, well, wow. components. Let's go to Joomla update. Let's just switch this back to default. And then that's great. All right. Uh, also, then I want to go into cPanel for that and once again sorry once again I'm gonna go to file manager public HTML mm4 I'm going to go try uh, empty the track uh, sorry I'm going to delete this uh, delete skip confirm and then we're going to go back into here we're going to go to the database and we're going to go that's just the one database and we're going to go mm4 and uh, we're going to go and check this we're going to drop those tables yes and everything is back to how it should be um seeing how i only have um, 
seeing how I only have gantry uh, uh, rocket theme templates on here extensions management I'm just going to see if there if I have any asteroid stuff in here Kiba no asteroid frame do I have that gauge no nope. just have that uh, no rain network this uh, okay all right well let's play around with one more site here let's do a biggie let's do a well maybe i don't want to do biggie uh i've got uh one that has a ton of space a ton of files ton of images that would yeah uh, i think that would be boring to you know, sit here and, and watch that copy i don't know how long it would take either um we'll close this and we're going to close that and that uh, let's see here. Yeah. All right. Well, that is pretty cool extension and I think it will work. Uh, it's not as straightforward, but it, again, it's not like just update and everything is done. Uh, you can run into still a lot of problems, but then that's part of the process of migrating. But probably the best thing to do is uh, on your site, get on your Joomla 3 site, get rid of all the stuff you're not using anymore. Make sure you're updated to the latest version of everything. And then put on safe mode in, J, uh, in Migrate Me 4, which will then allow you to for sure get into the other, into the, 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 the copy of it, the test area and then kind of work your way through and get the site working to where you want it. One of the things that could happen though is that if uh, if you turn on a plugin, um, if, as you work down the list, if you turned on something under the extension manager that broke and wouldn't let you into the back end of the site, you'd have to go into the database to do it. But All right, so why don't we I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to, I can't think of another site to try that on. Oh, I know what. Let's try this. Let's, I was just my, with, with my friends uh, yesterday. He has this website. All right. Sunday Children's Focus. He does uh, stories to be told in, uh, in church on Sunday for kids. And so why don't we just play around with that one too. Uh, components and extensions, manage and install. And let's upload package file, we'll browse. And I put this in Joomla 4, Joomla 4. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I had it in here. Uh, to smart. Where do we have it here? Uh, I've got it open over here somewhere. Basic Joomla. Oh, I've got it in somewhere else. I've got it here. Basic Joomla J4 com migrate. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Components. Migrate me for. Uh, first of all, okay, let's just do this without putting it into safe mode. Excuse me for yawning into the camera there. I, um, I have not had many great sleeps since I had COVID. I've had a couple, but uh I also went to bed at four o'clock in the morning yesterday, and I think that really threw me off. It's harder and harder on me anyways, but I, since I've had COVID, I've not been, uh, like I said, not been sleeping that. I haven't been having great sleeps, and not many great sleeps, and I still feel off at times. So I don't know if it just, it's from abusing my body or COVID abusing my body, but I'm also getting older, you know. 
Yeah, I'm going to be 57 in November. Wow. That's mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. It's funny because uh, and those of you who are of my vintage, I guess, remembered like 20 years ago. 20 years ago when I was 37 or even 30 years ago when I was 27 or 26. To look at someone my age, I they looked a lot older. All right, so we don't have safe mode on. We're going to log into the admin here. Oh, okay, and we get this error. Now, <coughs> this is a... Uh, let's, we've got some nice errors here. We've got some information. Class J dispatcher not found. Um, event aware for MM4 libraries. Source, I, I bet you, th I don't know what this has to do, what's going on here. Um, but what we'll just do is we'll go components. Oh, right here, right in the configuration. Safe mode, yes. Yes, all right, save, configure. Now we'll do that again. Yeah, no wonder if I'm going to bed at four in the morning, but I'll tell you, I've got a great team. I have four uh, four employees right now, uh, and they are, uh, uh, three of them are doing co-ops from Simon Fraser University. Another one is a, a student at Simon Fraser University. I think I've told you before, I've got government funding for them and uh, for like 95% of their salary and they're really great. And we've been working on a big project together. Uh, but then after we work on that, then I still have all my business stuff that I have to do. So that's sort of had me staying up late. Not complaining though, grateful for it. All right, so with safe mode on, we end up into the back end of the site here. We go to uh, Sunday Children's Focus, the front page. That's not going to work because it's a asteroid template and I've not updated anything there. And so um, again, as a tool, this is going to be great because you testing say, oh, wait a second. We've got to fix this right from the get go. Go back here and then we will go into um, and we can just start working our way through things. So, of course, keep a backup. It's going to say, hey, you got to put in the latest one. Uh, in install uh, using 8. Now install 9. All right. You can do that. The com web links thing needs to be updated. Yep. So, uh, really, I think I'm going to pronounce this a really great tool for helping to uh, quickly see what needs to be done. Super easy to go back and make changes in your Joomla site, your Joomla 3 site, and then do another, uh, and then do another export. I think um, we did run into that one thing with the JD Builder plugin still being seen, which might have just been in the database. Maybe it was caching, or whatever like that. But very cool. All right. Uh, and so again, what we're going to do is go to. I don't think this is okay. We're going to go to uh, the web hosting space for this. This last time we'll do this and then we'll take a look, see if there's any new uh, plugins that are out. Uh, let's see. Sunday Children's Focus. All right. And we'll go into this is their C panel here. File manager public now something to keep in mind if you're going to leave this if you're doing if you're doing regular akiba backups of your j3 site don't forget that uh, mm4 uh, migrate me 4 folder in the inside of your joomla install will get backed excuse me will get backed up as well so that could increase your web storage problem uh, your web storage space and uh, also you have the tables that are doubled so that could affect things as well so you might want to go and exclude those tables and exclude the this folder in akiba if you're going to do ongoing updates and you don't want to um, uh, you don't want to end up making backups of the subfolder here that's not and and then using up more space we had that problem doing some uh, upgrades for making some staged copies of client sites 
and doubling, you know, so we make a complete copy of the site. It's in a subfolder. Akiba backup goes double the size. Uh, and then we ran into problems where we were getting errors. And it turned out it was just because the web hosting account was full. It couldn't write any more files. So, all right, going to delete this. Skip that. Confirm. We're going to go here. We're going to go to uh, PHP databases. My PHP works. Data. There we go. I think he's got one database. Yes. And we're going to go here, go MM4. And great. We're going to check those. We're going to drop them. Yes. And everything's back the way that it should be. All right. Cool. So I'll leave migrate me for in there. Yep. And uh, so let's close some things that we don't need here. Uh, yeah, we can close that. We can close that. We can close that. And we go close that. Do you know if the silver package can be used on several sites? I think so. Let's see. Buy now. Silver package. Uh, support and updates for one domain. All right. So, um, I... I believe the way that it works with open source is that the software is free, but the support license you're selling is um, is not. And so, if you were, if I were to install this on my cybersalt.org site and contact Barnaby and say, "Hey, uh, this is not working on this site," he would look and say, "Oh, yeah, okay, sure, we'll get this going." Blah 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 blah. Or here now, if I um, go ahead and install it on a second site and uh, the support is only for one and uh, but you can download the latest version and install it on your other sites for updating so um, uh, yeah so support and updates for one domain support and updates for uh, unlimited domains I've not yet seen this come in for updating but um yeah so i think that you would be fine with that all right so um okay so let's go to j3 j3 core dot basic com forward slash administrator no, sorry, let's go to j4 see the latest ones yes because we can't search by the latest uh, um, extensions released uh, in uh, the JED. Uh, Joomla 3 doesn't offer the um, option to sort by newest in the install from web option. So extensions, install extensions, install from web, this option here, uh, newest first and current Joomla version is not offered in Joomla 3. Okay, so most recent, <coughs> excuse me. All right, um, let's see. JMP PHP settings. For some reason you can't change PHP properties parameters. This plugin can help, of course it can only change PHP properties if some if your server allows it I saw this announced the other day and basically what you can do is um, um, I think this is oh, I think this it will change some PHP settings in your PHP dot any in a folder same like in in the folder of your Joomla site to adjust things like maybe you might even work for adjusting file upload size or, or things but the server has to allow users to do things with PHP any but this looks like uh, I think this is probably would be good for anyone that's really stuck or maybe doesn't know where to go in their control panel to change PHP settings uh, if you're if your hosting allows it this could be a handy dandy little workaround for you all right, user statistics. Let's see. Whoops, I opened I opened up the image. Open up the link in a new tab. 
Uh, module displays registered users on the site, visitors, total members, and a list of the last registered users. All right, let's go to demo. And you get something down the side here. Um, where there's users, registered users, logged in users, guests, all visitors, last registered. And okay, so just something to display. Uh, this is actually probably information that you, uh, you know, we have that module in the log, in the admin area. One thing just to keep in mind is your users might not want their names showing that they've just registered. That said, if you've got a public site where people are belonging, not a big deal in my mind. Consult your, uh, consult lawyers in your jurisdiction. Alter brains, tag, displays item tags and backend lists and adds tags for Joomla users. Ah, ah. You can add tags for Joomla users, assign tags and backend, see them in see item tags and backend user list. You can add item tags, column and back and articles and category lists. You can configure background and foreground colors for specific tag and see colorized tags. Well, it'd be nice to see a demo of this. Uh, you can add tags for Joomla users. Interesting. I'm going to do this. And I'm uh, going to go to just add this as a video ID idea in my um, task management software here. We got spaces and we got basic Joomla. Where is that? There's basic Joomla and we've got uh, watch me work live stream ideas. And we've got this days is done so we'll close it and make a new task for that control V and save that all right yeah that'd be cool now if you could tag users oh you could tag them at you know depending on you know a rank if it was a club a military club or you could tag it as far as their roles on the site like a uh, um, support person um, that'd be interesting tags for users I was kind of excited. Uh, Mary says uh, you thought tag extension would be helpful for a couple of clients. You think he has screenshots. Okay, well, let's go see if he's got documentation here. Uh, here it is. Uh, for your client, you saw it as an organizational tool in the back end, yeah. All right, so. Oh, screenshots, there you go. All right, uh, content alter tags. Okay, so here we've got test tag, test tag, test tag two. So you're seeing tags for the articles here. Yeah. Ah, here's the users. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, and here's the admin, the tags. Oh, we can add the tags right to the people right in here. Nice. And here's where the tags are actually set. Cool. Mm-hmm. Excellent. All right. Likely a plugin of likely social sharing buttons for Joomla. Mm. Likely must be an existing sharing thing. It's a free download. No demo. No documentation. Um, likely. I wonder if we just Google that. Let's just do this. L I K E L Y. Likely. Share, let's say, likely sharing. Likely is the social sharing buttons that aren't shabby. Oh, here they are here. 
two themes, three sizes. Okay. Uh, kind of not too worried about having sharing icons on a lot of my content I'm not sure like I don't ever see something go oh tap on the tweet and send it out um, but I'm not a big share from that perspective either so I don't know if they're still used do any of you frequently use the social media buttons for sharing when you're online or I'm inclined just to copy the URL and paste it somewhere but uh, I just might not be that uh, that user. And so for that matter, you know, sometimes loading those adds to the, the load time so of the page. All right, custom HTML form. Let's check this out. This module allows you to create a custom HTML form. Okay. Mary says some people are, I have a friend that can't figure out how to copy the URL. Okay, well, there's that too then, right? Okay, uh, there might just be a little bit of groaning here while I move my foot because it's, I need to move it to a different position here. Oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, all right, so I went here to go to the demo and um, we're based in Potter's Bar, United Kingdom. Potter's Bar, that sounds like a fun place, doesn't it? Um, yeah, and Mary, you used the OCH share extension. Yeah, that's the one that I, I've used too. Michael, late to the party again. You recreated your homepage on a test site with CK template and page builder. Last week, mobile speed went from 68 to 92. Big up for CK software. Yes. Uh, reminds me that I need to, uh, I've got a, uh, I've got some sites. I think I told, I've got a J3 and Asteroid, a J3 and CK template and a J4 and CK template. And I want to do speed tests, but ah, uh, yeah, I'm super stoked about uh, CK builder and the speed with it. I like it. I like it. I like it. So thanks for confirming that. Um, yeah. All right, so they had a, I clicked on a demo here, but the, uh, oh, maybe the demo is the form here. Uh, maybe this is a form that they made. I thought it'd be something where we could see just to, to create it, but all right. So someone has created something for a custom HTML form. Uh, JMP mobile menu. This is same as up here. Uh, all right, let's go. So Michael, we're just uh, finished looking at stage it. Uh, sorry, at migrate me four, and uh, now we're just uh, looking at some of the latest extensions that are out in Joomla. Let's see. Here we go. Mobile menu. Uh, let's go to the demo here. Uh, I have a project that I need to quote on, and they had an incredibly great looking. Uh, menu for uh, on their Joomla 3 site they want help migrating to 4 and I kind of went in to see what it was the how on earth did they make that menu and it was CK Maxim menu so that was pretty cool uh, controls are displayed in the lower right of your screen I'll accept the cookies uh, no oh is that the mobile oh they're, okay so they're making a mobile menu on the site all right, cool. Uh, remember too what I have said because you know I mean uh, you know it's kind of JMP mobile menu comes up and then I mentioned CK menu, which is what I like to use. Uh, you know sometimes and I've said this in the past sometimes people come out with new extensions or plugins that there's already excellent versions of that exist somewhere. So you kind of think, oh, uh, do we need another one of whatever the type is? But um, it's a big world. 
uh, people are learning skills. Maybe they want to share them. They're also working towards maybe building up a business. And so if they've got a way to make a form and they've got some clients and they just want to help them with that and they've developed something that scratches where they itch, you know, there's a lot of people in the world with itches. And, um, you know, so you might make a product that satisfies the itch of 95% of people, but you make something else that satisfies the, the itch of the 1% of people that you've got and you're making a business from it and living, then I, you know, I'm happy for you. Um, and so I don't necessarily, uh, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't sweat it. Um, yes. Yeah, so Mary says, woohoo, all things CK for me. And Michael says little learning curve, but you really like it now. Yeah. Once you, once you get over that learning curve. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, I'm, I am. Uh, yes, uh, it just sorry, just jogged my mic because I do want to do tutorial videos on CK Template Creator, but um, I got to get myself organized and I need to find someone to edit videos for me too. And I don't have a lot of money to pay someone to edit videos for me. Um, so I just don't, I don't know. I'm kind of, there's one of those things that keeps coming back. I should get it organized, kind of stuck in the air. Login modal. modal. Hey, by, by Brian Tiemann. Interesting. Um, install, enable, plug in, create a, a configure a login module and publish in a new module position called modal. The modal will be triggered by the CSS selector defined in the plugin. Uh, by default, any link containing login will trigger the modal, but it can also be used for a button. All right. Neat. Not a, there's not a demo there. He has another. What's this other extension? Clean edit. A system plugin to make editing content, uh, editing content in the front end of your June website for distract, distraction free. Uh, to, 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 to distract, uh, you can select to either edit content in full screen mode or with a specific template. Interesting. Uh, on a complex site, for example, one with a large header graphic above the content, it can be hard to see the content edit form. It may be below the fold or too narrow to make long to make editing comfortable. Open the edit article page in full screen mode with just the form. Is that for front end editing? Sounds like it, eh? Using a specific template when editing content, this could be this could, for example, be clean of all modules. Okay, interesting. All right, so he's got two extensions on there. Good for him. Um, okay, and uh, let's see. Proofreader. Whoa, that sounds exciting. Brown fox, not brown. Report a typo. Oh, this is cool. Proofreader is a tool for sending reports about typos on the site. Proofreader extension for Joomla allows site visitors to report the administrator about typos on the site. A visitor can select can select text by mouse and press the key combination control and enter to select control and enter to send a message to the site administrator. After this, a pop-up is shown and a user is able to write comment about typo uh, about the typo. The report about typo will be available in administrator panel and email notification. Oh, this is a component and uh, all right reports are sent without reloading the current web page sends email notification to the administrator supports the spam protection by Joomla's captcha and you can post a comment about I found typo ah now no demo here but that looks interesting too all right so I'm going to add that to an idea for uh, where do we find that? Where do I where do I have that open here? Yeah, I'm gonna put that there. Let's see what other that's 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 a unique uh, extension. Let's go and see what else it has. Custom code. Custom custom code is a free module that inserts any code in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or PHP at site module positions. Okay. In text ads is a plugin for Joomla content component. 
which places ads inside article text in general is simple but useful handmade alternative of Google Ads auto placement. All right. Oh, and he did the likely one. All right, so he's got custom code in text ads and the likely one and also proofreader, which we were just looking at. All right, neat. Proofreader sounds interesting. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a free try after all. So maybe, uh, maybe some of these smaller ones would be just a great episode to just try some small things that are free. Uh, okay, GMG Ax Media Access Manager. Uh, let's see where we're getting here. Let's open a new tab. We'll close a few things. Oh, I wanted to see who Pavel is here first. Um, yeah, custom code likely proofreader. Does it say who the company is? No. Let's just. Ah, oh, I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to use this. Search Google for Pavel Selman. Instagram photos, and now, I like that tip, Bjorn. I'm gonna add Joomla to it. Uh, extensions, page 644. Uh, just wondering if he's got a, uh, a website. Let's see, here's one got his name on it. Custom code, Com, uh, common ninja. Okay, is he common ninja? Let's check. No, Common Ninja, that's the place where you share apps. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, anyways. Um, what were we going to look at here? GMG Media Access Manager. There are many reasons for limited access to media such as images and videos. For example, knowledge, personal data, or teaching material that's being released for limited use should be protected. Da 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 da. Joomla component ensure this. The Joomla component ensures certain content is only made is only made visible after a login. Hmm. You add your pictures and videos to the website as usual. Media that should be not visible without authorization are protected by the component. The protected material is only accessible online with a password. Only those who have requested or who have registered with the appropriate access data can view the product. Thank you, Bjorn, for that comment. Useful topic today. Yeah. I, I feel a little bit bad because I, I think sometimes some of the struggling I, uh, that happens with extensions is just because um, I don't read instructions or I keep forgetting to just go and see what the configuration options are first. I should do that at the beginning. Today I did a bit of reading there at the beginning, but had I looked at configuration options, I would have seen that there's a safe mode and that would have probably helped things along faster. But And if you watched my Maintenance Monday this week, I had that little comment about uh, sharing with developers and programmers that uh, regular users like me and if you include yourself as a regular user or an everyday user, uh, we just kind of stumbling along or are, you know, just trying to find our own way. And we don't always do what makes sense. You know, you know, you develop something, you make documentation. It's like, hey, it's there. People just have to follow it, but people don't follow it. So you need to do something because people don't read. People like me don't read or they just throw themselves in and try and figure things out. Um, but uh, I do think, though, we ha have lots of examples of extensions where people m make it super easy to use and um, take whether they're taking into consideration the skill level or whatever of their users, they've got it so that it's very user friendly. Um, 
Yes, yeah, so Ivor says that struggling is what we learn from, and Mary says it's true. To, it's a true test to see how intuitive the extension is. Uh, Michael says he has a friend like that, Mary. After an hour talking to him this afternoon, he felt like jumping off a bridge. <laughs> I'll tell you, my wife had a Zoom call with her siblings the other day, and she ended up on a sort of like a little private phone call trying to help her brother get on Zoom on his iPad. And eventually, I just got up and, and walked out and did a few things while she finished setting that up. I, I knew she was able to, but it was, yeah, it was one of those things. I uh, I left before I felt like jumping off her bitch, but yeah, I, I hear you. Uh, and which is funny, you know, because I was reminding myself, you know, I wasn't judging him, right? I'm trying not to judge him. He is uh, like 65. Is he 65? No, he's like 63 now, but uh, not a tech person. Um, and probably partly not a tech person because he doesn't want to be a tech person. Um, so he was saying, why is this so old? Why is this doing this? And, and I was kind of like thinking like, man, you don't, you hardly even use this stuff. You don't even try. You're not really in a place to judge. And then I thought, ah, oh, but you know what? He's just like me, just expects it to be easy. Why isn't someone making it easier? So we all kind of fall, uh, fall into that. So we're all somewhere on the spectrum of what we, uh, uh, of our skills and what we know. Uh, Media Access Manager, let's take a look at this. 12 euros, I've got some screenshots here. All right. You can, uh, okay, and we've got, uh, is that, is that German? I'm going to guess it's German by the little dots here. Could be wrong, though. If it's not, don't want to defend anyone. Um, media. So YouTube. Oh, oh, here is the media. And here you are assigning the uh, user group who can see it or access it. So this is for media. All right, so the URL, embed, interesting. Oh, this is interesting because if you, these are YouTube links. So if you put this link on your site, is that saying that you have to be logged in to see it? That would be an interesting workaround for, um, because you, it's very hard to control access to YouTube videos unless you make them unlisted and then only have them available behind a, a membership level on your site. Um, interesting. All right. And then there's a YouTube iframe. Oh, there's an iframe around the YouTube. And in order to watch this video, you have to click login. Interesting. All right. That's kind of neat. I'll add that just in case. Mm, watch me work live stream. Yes, that's where I'm putting it on here. All right. Well. And I think we looked at this before, automatic translation with Deeple. Yeah, uh, animated counter. Hey, let's just check this out because I know someone that likes a counter on a site. And uh, did we, I, or did we look at this? Uh, this module creates three animated counters to use on your site demo. Okay, so here's user statistic, which we've seen. Um, oh, animated counter. 1,500,000 plus personalized text. 250,000 something. Looks like we've got a lot of extensions, and this is... Um, we go back. Colder Yum. Two other extensions. 
three icons for maximum seven your social media icons and user statistic which we just saw and then there's this animated counter and the developer is Dacian Strain. Huh, let's see who that is. Using this little trick there, look at that. Select it, right click, search for Google. Um, is it this person here? Oh, no, this list vulnerability statistics for all projects of Dacian strain. Let's search here and go Joomla. Users to animated page, page. This is a members list here and yeah, no. All right, so that's a new name for me in so I said it with Juma. All right, well, that's kind of neat. I wonder what that, uh, uh, hang on, we'll take a look at that. So, uh, we'll put that in there for video ID uh, and do that and go here and let us find that. And we're gonna go chat, all right. All right, everybody, well, no, there we go. I'm having the best hair day. That was uh, that was good. Uh, so migrate me four. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, very effective tool for trying some things and safely moving up to four. Uh, certainly, you could do the same thing with Stage It. I do like Stage It because you can remove a staging copy. On this one, you have to do it manually. So maybe. Uh, something I'll suggest to Barnaby, just something to, you know, a tool just to remove um, the staging thing if you come back and work on it later. But still handy dandy tool for making it easier to do things. All right. Well, what are we at here? We are at the hour and 55 minute point here. And I think we will wrap that up. Thanks, everybody. It was great to spend time with you again and uh, live stream over yeah so um yeah thanks everybody i hope that wherever you are be it morning evening afternoon or tomorrow that you are doing well until the next time enjoy your joomla sites and god bless <laughs>